Okay, so I saw this tweet that said this person was going to invite a bunch of billionaires to their wedding, and the billionaires probably weren't going to show up, but the assistant of the billionaire would just send them a present. And I was wondering, if the billionaire is not even going to show up, do we even need to have the wedding? Like, can I just throw like a like a fake wedding and then invite a bunch of billionaires, and then hopefully their assistants will send me a bunch of presents? So I'm going to try that. I'm going to see if it works. One thing I've been wondering is, is this mail fraud? And I did a little bit of research and it turns out that it's only mail fraud if it works. So if it doesn't work, then I'm fine. And if it does work, then I just actually, to get around the whole mail fraud aspect, I just actually have to get married, which, you know, I'm willing to do. So yeah, let's see. So step one is that I need to find a bunch of billionaires. So I'm just gonna go online and look up the 100 richest people in New York City. I've actually tried this before. And one of the reasons why I think it didn't work is because it, they, first of all, the wedding invites looked very unprofessional. And then also they were pretty generic. So I'm gonna try to make some pretty personalized wedding events. So uh, Michael Bloomberg lives in New York City. A brief stint as a full-time philanthropist. That feels like unemployed, but for rich guys. You know, like there's no way he was like nine to five, like serving soup to poor people. You know what I mean? He went to Johns Hopkins University. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. To avoid it being blatant mail fraud, I have to make sure that I don't actually lie in these invites. So I just have to, phrase things so that it seems like we did stuff together. It's been a while since John's Hopkins. I think that's, I think that's sound. Cause it's, cause it is been a while for him since he's been to John's Hopkins. It doesn't say that I've been to John's Hopkins. Love to see you and your wife. Is he married? Domestic partner. Not married. That feels like it's gotta be for legal reasons. Would love to see you and your domestic partner at my wedding. And then I'll have ChatGPT fill in a bunch of like other details, but that seems good. I was, I did that for all the billionaires on this list. And then I had to go and get my invites made. I had Casey make them because she's a lot better at this stuff than me. So I had her design me a little invite and print them all out. She also has way better handwriting than me. So I was having her do all the addresses and stuff. I realized that if anyone did send me a present, she would probably be the person I would try to marry just to avoid being mail fraud. So I figured I should fill her in on the situation. So you know this works, um, we have to get married. Otherwise I'm committing mail fraud, right? Okay. Wait, really? Sure. Huh. <laughs> How many of these do I have to do? A uh, hundred. I have things to do. <laughs> So after some brief pushback, I got them all done and uh, it's time to send these out. So I'm going to the post office to drop all these things off and I realized that I've kind of done all this under the implication that none of the billionaires will actually try to show up. But I was just thinking, I was like, what if one of them needs like a photo op of like what I used to be like or like guys I went to college with and they actually RSVPS? Um, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get there, but yeah.